As you guys know, the skill tree in Forbidden West has gotten way more complicated compared to what we were used to in Zero Dawn. We do have the familiar organization of skill branches for different disciplines like Hunter and Stealth, but now within each branch we have different types of skills including passive boosts, weapon techniques, and valor surges, with valor surges being the most unique and powerful skills in the whole game. Now I know it can be a bit overwhelming to have all of these options, and it can also be kind of confusing when you're trying to understand the stats for each valor surge, especially since every valor surge also has three levels and the stats change with those levels. Now, maybe by this point you've gotten comfortable with one Valor Surge, or maybe you're still not really utilizing them at all because they're just too complicated and confusing. Well, in this video, we're going to quickly break down how Valor Surges work, and then I'll show you my top four picks for the best ones in the game. My goal here is to make it easy for you to choose one that will work best for you and your playstyle. First off, let's make sure we're all on the same page about how Valor Surges work. You can unlock a Valor Surge by spending skill points on it, just like any other skill. However, there are two key differences with Valor Surges. First, you need to unlock each of the three connecting skills before you can unlock the Valor Surge itself. Then, once you've spent skill points to unlock the first level, you have the option to spend additional skill points to level that Valor Surge further. Of course, each time you level it up, the original effects will become stronger. For example, we can see here on the Overshield Valor Surge that level 1 gives us 125 shield health, but level 2 will increase that stat to 250. Additionally, we can see that unlocking level 2 will also give us a new effect for deflecting melee damage in addition to the original shield effect. And if we upgrade it to level 3, you guessed it, the existing effect stats are boosted further and we also unlock a third effect. This is a very typical upgrade pattern for Valor Surges, and if you're considering investing skill points in a particular Valor Surge, you should totally flip through to check out what you'll get at each level. However, I can tell you now that most Valor Surges begin to show their real power after being upgraded to at least level 2, and really, you want to get them to level 3. One reason for that is to make it stronger, but the other critical thing to realize is that upgrading a Valor Surge also increases the Valor Bar. Remember, the Valor Bar, which determines how long you can use a Valor Surge, can't be upgraded on its own. It's directly linked to how much you've invested in the Valor Surge you currently have equipped. And that's another thing to keep in mind. You can only equip one Valor Surge at a time. Valor Surges are triggered easily by holding L1 to bring up your weapon wheel like you normally would, and then tapping R1. However, to change which Valor Surge you have equipped, you need to open the menu and head over to the skill tree to find the one you want and equip it. Now, you can do this mid-fight if you want to switch to a different Valor Surge after using the first one, but in reality, I think most of us are going to pick one Valor Surge and stick with it 90% of the time, which is exactly why you need to know which ones are the best and how to utilize them for maximum effectiveness. So let's check out my top four Valor Surge picks. To start things off, let's take a look at my personal favorite, Range Master. Now, Gorilla did improve melee combat in Forbidden West compared to Zero Dawn, but there's no getting around the fact that Aelia has always been, first and foremost, a tactical and intelligent huntress. In particular, there's no separating Aloy from her arsenal of bows and other ranged weapons, so any Valor Surge that makes those weapons more effective is going to give us a big boost. At all levels, Ranged Master increases damage dealt by any ranged weapon, and spoiler alert, pretty much all of Aloy's weapons are ranged weapons. The only exceptions would be your spear, trip casters, and rope casters, so Ranged Master is super versatile regardless of your loadout or how you like to fight, which is the main reason it's my favorite. I don't find myself wanting to switch Valor Surges very often, so Ranged Master is my set it and forget it Valor Surge for what I would call a hunter playstyle. I like to use some stealth to open the fight intelligently, but once things get going, I'm most likely going to dive in and rely on my aim and movement skills to control the fight. If that sounds like you, then Range Master is probably a great Valor Surge for you. Let's take a look at the stats. We start with a 30% boost for ranged weapon damage at level 1, and at level 3, it goes all the way up to 60%. Range Master also gives you a little bit of health back for each hit, with this stat maxing out at 10% on level 3. Now at level 2, we unlock two more effects, a 20% boost to damage dealt while using weapon techniques, and a 100% increase to the weapon stamina regen speed. Those effects max out at 40% and 200% respectively. If you haven't been paying much attention to them, weapon techniques are the triangular shaped skills in the skill tree, and they essentially make your weapons more powerful and versatile. If you want to learn more about weapon techniques and how to use them, and you totally should be using them by the way, then make sure you're subscribed for my weapon techniques video coming up soon. But for now, it's enough to know that weapon techniques generally let you deal more damage one way or the other. So you can see how using the range master valor surge to boost our weapon techniques even further can let you deal a ton of damage. And don't forget about that stamina regen boost. 100% means it regenerates stamina twice as fast, and the 200% at level 3 means three times as fast. That's a huge benefit because stamina, which is the gold bar above your purple valor surge bar, is required to be able to use weapon techniques. So regenerating it faster simply means you'll be able to use weapon techniques more often. Oh, and at level 3 you also unlock another effect that makes killing a machine trigger a shock explosion that can hit nearby enemies. Personally, I don't 
don't find that this comes into play very often, but if you're fighting a group of machines, it can be a nice side benefit if you happen to kill one while the others are standing nearby. But in summary, Range Master basically boosts our damage output with almost all weapons, and it lets us use our powerful weapon techniques more often. Now, there's two things I like to do to utilize Range Master as effectively as possible. First, I like to trigger it right before taking my opening shot of a fight, because I'll be able to stack all its damage boosting stats with the Stealth Range Plus skill, which increases damage to unaware enemies. This can make for some super powerful opening shots that are particularly useful on tough machines like Shell Snappers and Tremor Tusks. You can trigger Range Master and then take a moment to line up a shot on a weak component, like the Blaze Sack on a Tremor Tusk's belly. Not only does this let you deal some good direct damage, but it basically guarantees you'll be able to destroy a component like an Explosive Blaze Sack, which can deal a huge amount of damage and also apply an elemental effect. To make this tactic as powerful as possible, I like to take my opening shot with the Brace Shot Weapon Technique, which is already a really strong skill on its own. Brace Shot combined with Range Master and a little extra boost from being in stealth makes for some massive damage output on that first shot. Now you can achieve this same thing using other Valor Surges like Stealth Stalker or Power Shots, but I think Range Master is best because the damage boost continues for as long as your Valor lasts after the initial shot. So your initial shot can be super strong, but then all the follow-up shots after that are boosted too, until your Valor runs out of course. The second thing I do to maximize my use of Range Master is actually more of a general strategy I would recommend for any Valor Surge, and that's simply to keep an eye on your Valor bar during longer fights. You'll build up Valor as you hit weak points and finish off enemies. So in a longer fight, you'll typically have an opportunity to trigger your Valor Surge at least one more time. Your Valor just sits there unused if you don't trigger it, so make sure you're keeping an eye on that purple bar and use it when you have an opportunity. All right, that's enough about Range Master. I'm sure you guys can tell I like it. Let's move on to my second favorite Valor Surge, Stealth Stalker. Now, if you're a stealthy player, this is totally the Valor Surge for you. Plus, it's gotta be one of the coolest concepts for a Valor Surge. I mean, come on, Aloy using cloaking technology from a Stalker? That's just so cool. Anyway, Stealth Stalker does exactly that. It turns Aloy almost invisible to reduce visibility to enemies while also boosting the damage done to targets that haven't noticed you yet. That boost is most significant for using Silent Strike, but it also gives a nice boost for range damage as well, which is very similar to Ranged Master. At level 3, the range damage boost maxes out at 50%, which is almost as high as the 60% Ranged Master gives you, so you can use it to create powerful opening shots similar to Ranged Master. However, at Stealth Stalker level 3, you also unlock the very powerful ability to restore Valor each time you kill an enemy, which extends the use of Stealth Stalker. You can see how stringing kills together will allow you to stay in the cloaked state for a very long time if done correctly. This is particularly useful for dealing with human enemies like rebels in the camps and outposts. Now the one thing to be aware of is the cloaking state is deactivated temporarily when you aim a weapon or use melee attacks, including silent strike, so you need to make sure you're keeping track of all enemies in an area so you can take them out one at a time without being noticed. However, if you're patient and you like a stealthy playstyle, then I would definitely recommend investing in Stealth Stalker. Up next, we have Critical Boost, the best Valor Surge for melee fighters and those of you who like fast firing weapons like warrior bows and bolt blasters. Now, if you guys watched my recommended skill series, then you know I initially gravitated towards using Critical Boost as my favorite Valor Surge. I still really like Critical Boost, but after spending many more hours in Forbidden West, I've decided Range Master is the better all-arounder basically because its damage boosts are more consistent. Critical Boost increases the chance of critical hits, which is what's happening when you see the golden damage numbers popping up. These critical hits are already higher damage, so they're great to get and critical boost basically makes them more likely to happen, which is going to increase your overall damage output. Additionally, it increases the damage dealt by a critical hit, and it dramatically boosts critical strike, which is the high damage R1 stabbing animation you can do to knock down enemies. At levels 2 and 3, it also boosts the chance for getting a critical hit while using a weapon technique, such as brace shot. Now the thing to realize here, and essentially the reason I began to favor Range Master is that critical boost is mainly boosting the chance that critical hits will happen. It doesn't guarantee them, so even though they'll happen much more often, it's still unpredictable when they'll happen. For me, this became a problem because of the opening strategy I mentioned earlier where I like to combine a Valor Surge with Brace Shot to deal a massive amount of damage straight away. Because critical boost is unpredictable, I couldn't guarantee my opening shot would be as powerful as possible. Now, that doesn't mean critical boost is bad, it just means I wasn't using it optimally. Where it really shines is with fast trying weapons like the new warrior bows and bolt blasters. Because these weapons pump out so many shots, you'll have 
way more chances for some of them to be crits. You can create even more chances for crits by combining critical boosts with weapon techniques like spread shot and burst shot on warrior bows, which lets you fire multiple arrows at once. Or if you really want to go nuts, you can use the sustained burst skill with a bolt blaster while in the critical boost state. However, keep in mind that critical boost's biggest benefit is for critical strikes. So anytime an enemy gets stunned, for example, by shocking it or knocked down because you dealt a lot of damage to it in a short period of time, you want to make sure that you run up and take advantage of the extra damage you can deal by stabbing it with your spear. Okay, so number four and the last one we'll cover in depth is the part breaker valor surge that you can find in the machine master branch of the skill tree. Now I have to say, I think this one is kind of slept on. Well, honestly, I think most of us don't give much priority to the machine master branch overall, but it's really worth considering part breaker as your go-to valor surge even if you have no interest in the rest of the machine master branch. Taking a look at its effects, we can see that it actually has some really solid stats that would benefit almost any playstyle. Even just at level 1, we get a 25% boost for tear and damage to components, as well as 25% boost for damage to weak spots. At level 3, all of these max out at an impressive 85%, plus you get a 30% chance for triggering a knockdown when a component is removed. That may not sound like a big deal, but when a machine is knocked down, you can either deal a nice chunk of damage with a critical strike, or you can easily remove additional components or hit weak spots, which is actually what I would recommend doing. And because Part Breaker boosts tear and damage to components and weak spots, you're just going to deal that much more damage with those easy shots while the machine is stunned. The biggest advantage Part Breaker has over other Valor Surges is the boost it gives for tear damage. This can be really handy for getting the specific components you need for a weapon or outfit upgrade, and this is exactly how I find myself using Part Breaker. I'll equip it to make sure I can get something like a roller back tail with the fewest shots possible since it can be hard to hit the tail in the middle of combat. Alright guys, those are the top 4 Valor Surges I think you need to know about. We had Range Master for those of you like me who want a Valor Surge that enhances a play style. For all of you stealth players out there, Stealth Stalker is definitely the Valor Surge for you. And for anyone that enjoys Warrior Bows and Bolt Blasters, you should consider Critical Boost as your go-to. Now I do want to give a few honorable mentions. First, Power Shots, which is the second Valor Surge in the Hunter skill branch along with Range Master. This is a good one if you want to maximize damage output from just a few shots. At level 3, you get 5 super strong shots, and they don't use up any ammo. Power Shots is also unique in that it doesn't simply drain your Valor over time the way other Valor Surges do. Instead, it only uses a chunk of valor when you fire off one of your power shots, so you can take as much time as you want with your power shots. Similar to Range Master and Detail Stalker, this is a great one for creating a super strong opening shot. I also want to quickly mention Melee Might. In particular, when you upgrade it to level 3, you get unlimited spear energy and instant knockdown with your power attacks, which is when you hold R2 to charge up a heavy spear attack. Believe it or not, you can knock down even the biggest machines in one hit with this, and then when they're down, you can pepper them with heavy hits to load them up with blue resonator energy. Then, if you hit all of those with a fast firing weapon like a warrior bow or bolt blaster, you'll be able to deal a huge amount of damage very quickly. Melee Might is another great Valor Surge for you Melee fans out there. Alright guys, those are all my recommendations for Valor Surges. I hope this cleared up any confusion or hesitancy you may have had about Valor Surges, and I also hope it showed you how important it is to be using them, especially in combination with weapon techniques, which we'll cover in an upcoming video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one, and leave me a comment down below to let me know which Valor Surge is your favorite. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.